The OKCI OK Math Leadership Program is a program we started here in the state. And the sole purpose of the program is to really empower classroom teachers to become leaders. We thought, wouldn't it be a great idea if we focused an effort in our state on helping teachers uh, feel confident in their leadership skills, recognize that they are leaders, but also help build in those leadership skills that uh, maybe they're on the verge of, but they, they may not fully access yet. One thing we know is that as we got started on this, is there a tremendous amount of knowledge of inner power and really an abundance of that knowledge out there in teachers. They've really never been given the opportunity to show leadership and to come up with ideas that enrich all of the work that we're doing. What we wanted to do is make sure that teachers have that opportunity opportunity explicitly defined for them. So we give them space and time to collaborate, space and time to innovate. We, we work with them to be leaders and we work with them to be what we call solutioneers, basically engineers of solutions for education. So we develop this, all of these ideas with our, with our teachers about what leadership is and what the, what the issues in education are. And then what they are meant to do is identify what their passion is in education and what, what issues they want to solve and they focus on the Keystone Project. Uh, one of the Keystone Projects we are very excited about comes from two of our elementary teachers uh, who are in the program and they have been working on this idea of what does STEM education look like at an elementary level. We've noticed that STEM education is missing in elementary and, and our goal was to really kind of bring STEM coaches into the elementary level and, and help teachers out. The OK side will be very helpful at the elementary level because so many times we think of the secondary teachers as the leaders that will take us into the next thing. And this gives the elementary teacher that chance that, you know, what we're doing is way important too. And if we don't have them ready for you, they're not going to be able to continue with their job. Because of this uh, opportunity with OK Sci and OK Math, I have been able to bring in curriculum into my classroom and a way of teaching science that I don't think I would have attacked on my own. We have another teacher, she's an eighth grade science teacher. So when she is trying to um, to see if some of the things are working in her classroom, if she's trying to look at data from her students and evaluate uh, what she could do to improve things for them, it's just her. And so her Keystone Project is right now um, a small seed idea, but she is beginning a virtual community uh, of practice for eighth grade teachers in the Oklahoma City public school system. I've spent a lot of time talking about what it means to be a leader, what it means to think of new ideas and try them and revise them, um, what it means to you know, be really innovative in coming up with something, coming up with a solution to a really difficult problem. I felt connected and cared about um, by people who I would never have met if I hadn't been part of the program, and I really loved that as well. We have a teacher, Sean Sheehan, who has an idea of creating positive energy for education. And so he just has basically a, a PR campaign that he's put together. And we're helping him as, w as much as we possibly can with this process. The Teach Like Me campaign is uh, intended to increase teacher recruitment and retention, as well as spread some positivity about the profession of teaching, kind of put the good, the good news out there about our profession. I've learned from the OK Math Leadership Program that, for one, I'm not alone. You know, I was always aware of the problem, but uh, I'm not the only one trying to come up with ideas to fix it. There's a, there's a whole slew of people, uh, a great list of people, really, um, who have great ideas about how to make things better in our state. I think this program is different than other professional development programs in the state in that um, our target for teachers through this program isn't necessarily to provide them with support in classroom instruction. I found that a lot of the professional development I've went to just kind of sit in your listening, take a few notes, maybe you can ask questions at the end, but this completely and utterly relies on the participants and what they put into it. We really are talking about um, changing our mindsets from saying, this is so hard, which it is, to saying, this is so hard and what am I going to do about that? It allowed us to really think about what we want to do and how we want to change math or science in our school, and our district, or in the state even. This is providing a framework and said, 
your thoughts are valid, your ideas are valid, come with us and help them grow. If you imagine 40 teachers every year coming out of this program uh, feeling empowered and doing great things on a large scale in our state, I imagine that that's really how we're going to get some of the long-term goals accomplished that we want to for education. 